Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I've been gone for two weeks and I have missed you so very much. Well, I'm back now, so go ahead and grab your glue gun, some chalk paint, them randomizing ends you don't know why you saved, and let's get to crafting. So as you could probably tell from the sneak peek of the DIY, it is a two-part DIY. So as you see here, I'm scraping the paper off of one of them to paint it but for the second one I just mod podged the glitter and then painted it the reason I painted both sides is you will be able to see the back since it is a standing sign and I just love a project looking finished so that's why I recommend it you do that so for this DIY I found this cute little free printable on Pinterest with the blue truck on it and as you're going to see, I painted everything but the truck. I just was not going to put my very, very particular self through that. So I have several shout outs that I need to do in this video. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out the way and tell you to go ahead and subscribe and turn on that bell so you don't miss an upload. Share on all your social medias and with friends and family and you can help my channel to grow and I will shout you out in my next video if you comment shared in the comments down below. So as you've seen, I used moss for the green and pumpkin orange by Apple Barrel for the orange. And I'm using khaki by Apple Barrel for the light brown. But now I'm just taking some Mod Podge. I'm going to put a little in the center of where the center of the truck will be. That way I can still move it around without messing up the truck like I did the first one. And I'm just going to use my little ruler and a square to get the truck as lined up and as centered as possible. And then I will go around the outside of the truck underneath it. And then I'll cover the whole top of the truck. So now I'm going to use one of those burlap messenger bags from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut the straps off, turn it inside out. Then I'm going to cut down all the seams and cut it in half. So my first shout out goes to Catherine Brown. She has an Etsy shop called Beautiful RHC. She runs her Etsy shop, is a new mom, and because of a recent medical condition, this is how she helps to provide for her family. Catherine says her products are high quality, handmade, and that she has body scents and 16 scents, as well as 31 lip gloss flavors. She says there's something for everyone, men included. I do just want to say that I have not been able to try her products yet. We are in the expensive part of the process of buying a home, and we are pinching every penny we can. I mean, a better description would probably just be flat broke, but... But yeah, times are pretty rough. <laughs> I know they are for everyone though. Um, but yeah, go check her out and tell her Brittany Allen Craft sent you. And if you wanted to not skip my ads right now, that would be great. All right, keep watching. <music> Mixed three parts white glue by Jot with one part water and then gently dried them off. And I was just originally going to paint on the letters, which is why I did this. So you don't really have to, but now I'm just using some of those puffy letters from Dollar Tree. Put them on tinfoil to keep them from sticking because it will mess them up if they stick. And I'm gonna paint them ivory by Waverly. Now I'm gonna use some Loctite super glue to glue them onto our little burlap banner pieces. Then I will glue those pieces onto a small piece of jute and glue the banner to the top of the sign. Here is the second sign or the second part to the first DIY. 
as I'm painting, I will show the paint I'm using or if not, it'll be paint I've already used and you'll know what color I'm using. But while I have this time, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to all of the participants of the Dollar Tree Sunflower Challenge. Actually, Allie and I hosted last month. I first want to say thank y'all all so much and y'all are all cordially invited to our Halloween edition next month. All right, the list of the following YouTube channels are all participants, and again, thank you so much. DIYs and Crafts with Anna, Domestic Diva DIY, Moms Da Life, Handmade, Vesna TV, Metal Hill and Home DIY, Gina Louise, Danielle the Domestic Scientist, Dolly Awesome Crafts, Melissa Makes It DIY. Thank you all so, so much, you guys. All right, so now I am just putting some hot glue while I hold the two signs together. And I was so, so happy that this worked because I was afraid it wouldn't, you know, stay together or stand or whatever. I was just afraid it wouldn't. So that's what that little uh, celebration dance is for. But this is the turnout. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Here is the other side of the sign. I'm not sure which side I like better. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Which which side is your favorite? All right. Now, DIY number two. Finally, I'm sure is what you guys are thinking, huh? But, yeah, this DIY is not my favorite DIY I've ever done by any means. But I decided to go ahead and leave it in here because I had already partially edited it by the time I decided I didn't like it. So, yeah. I'm using one of those little square uh, signs from Dollar Tree. And I just decided to go ahead and leave in the part where I'm removing the paper and the residue, uh, just in case you haven't seen that before. Uh, and now I'll be able to reference this video in the future. But yeah, I'm just going to paint it ivory by Waverly and then start painting my little printable. And as I do that, I want to go ahead and shout out Amy Fordyce. She's my moderator in my Facebook group and she is awesome you guys she is an amazing moderator she is a really good friend and I wanted to shout her out because she shared my video and I'm trying to start shouting you guys out I want to start picking out random comments to shout out as well as shout out most if not all of the people if I can that share this video or my videos whatever I want to show you guys that I appreciate that you help my channel like you do because I do. But yeah, thank you, Amy, for being an amazing moderator, friend, and for sharing my video and always supporting me. You are the real MVP. So now I'm just using some burlap tape to uh, put on the sides of this sign. I actually hot glued it down just for purposes of it staying on. Uh, not the best tape, and it's kind of old, so yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to add on this burlap tape and then I'll be back. So for the stem, I'm using one of those wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and gluing it right in the center of the sign. Now, I'm going to take one of those cookie sheets I had left over from my large pumpkin sign I made. And I'm just going to cut all the edges off and then put one of those little leaves from the Dollar Tree down and trace it using a chalk marker. Now, I'm just going to cut it off the sign to make it easier to cut out. I ended up making two of these, one smaller and one slightly larger. I used that pumpkin orange paint by Apple Barrel to paint in the vine, or veins, I guess is what you call it. And then I glued one onto the actual sign and one up at the top. I wrapped some wire that I picked up from the Dollar Tree around a pin and made the little ringlets. And I did three of them. Then I flipped the sign around and glued the wire onto that little ledge on the back. That was the only way I really knew
off camera, I wrapped brown and light brown raffia around the stem and then I added a little raffia orange bow to the center of the stem and this is how it turned out. Like I said, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. Let me know what you guys think and let's go ahead and start on DIY number three. I'm using one of the orange square signs from Dollar Tree as well as the side of the burlap bag that has the orange designs on it. I'm going to trace around the sign with some chalk, just regular old chalk and uh, on the back of course and then cut that out. <music> So right here, I am just using a paintbrush to paint on a mixture of glue and water, the same leftover glue and water from earlier. And once that had dried, I am just going to use some hot glue to glue this down to the sign. Again, you don't have to do this if you aren't doing anything that it's not necessary for, but I did have other plans for the sign in the beginning, but they changed. Life of a crafter, y'all know already. But I'm just using some of that ribbon from In Love Art Shop. They sent it to me uh, to review a while back. And I'm trying to use up some stuff that I've had for a while. So it turned out really, really cute. I'm really glad that I used it. Alright, so the stem for this one is actually a cork from an actual bottle of wine that I drank like a year ago. And I've been saving this cork to use. So finally I got to use it. These are just some leaves from a little bouquet from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut that in half. Then I have these pomegranates that I'm going to glue on the exact same way. As well as one of these little cute pumpkins. I really love these. They really, really did good on these pumpkins. Do y'all like these pumpkins better than the ones that they originally just had? I do. So this is a pack of 98 cent pearls from Walmart. They don't even have like a hole or anything, so I really like them. But I'm just going to glue them on all four corners of the ivory ribbon and then glue on one of those little bows. I'm sure you know the ones Dollar Tree uses on other signs nowadays. But this is how the third DIY turned out. I really like this one and I hope you guys do too. All right, we're finally to DIY number four. This is the fourth and final DIY. Let me know down in the comments which one of the four is your favorite, and let's get started. So I'm using this Farm Fresh sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to flip it over and cut off the hanger. I actually painted the sign with that khaki color at first, but I did that off camera and decided to leave it out because it's not necessary. But I dry brushed on some Truffle by Waverly and now I'm going to go back in with a heavy dry brush of the ivory and I did this so that it would make the appearance of whitewashed wood and I was happy uh, with the outcome. So off camera I actually painted this welcome sign and then mod podged it and now you're seeing me dab on the orange pumpkin paint by Apple. It was the only way I could get this paint to be thick enough and the Mod Podge is how it will stick. So I also went in with a fine detail brush to paint in the veins of the leaf. I will link this paintbrush pack along with anything else that is from Walmart that I can link for you guys. By the way, if you do buy something from clicking one of my links, it will help support this channel which then helps me continue to do the one thing that I absolutely love and feel like is what I am supposed to be doing because I adore all of y'all. Y'all are amazing and I absolutely love making videos and doing crafts and I've always wanted to own my business so I don't really know how else to explain it other than I just know this is what I'm supposed to do. But so you saw me cut the circle of craft paper out and you saw me use the stencil 
Those are from Amazon. They came in a pack of four. So I'm just going to wrap that piece of cardboard in tin foil. I made slits around it and then used hot glue to secure it. I made just a little medallion. And then I put the craft paper with fall on it in the center of that. Now I am attaching that medallion to some bake. I'm just putting some wood beads that I picked up from Walmart. I'll link those as well. I'm using a pin to make little curly cues with the wire and attaching those at the top of the pumpkin. So now all I have left to do is attach that little garland as well as the orange welcome sign and that would mean the end of this video. I would appreciate it so much if you'll share this video. Comment shared and I'll shout you out. Go join my Facebook group. The link is in the description. You can share your projects with us. We would love to see. If you're not on Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram. And I'd appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.